Gentle Coco has a big problem that needs urgent attention. So we're in today to remove mm. that massive lump. Yes. And I've been seeing Coco because there's been this lump on the back of her thigh or more near the base of her tail and it's growing. It's growing really quickly and it's now starting to press on all the areas that is causing pain when she's walking or getting up. And she doesn't mm -hmm. like it when we touch it. Yeah. Audrey is hoping it's a fatty mass called lipoma and nothing more sinister. So you can see it's coming, it's almost lobulated. So it's got a big one here that's pushing her tail back and then it's actually extending all the way here. So if I grab it, we're looking at a lump the size of half mm. your head. I'm concerned because it's so big, but also it seems to have almost two lobules to it. One going over the thigh and the other one going towards the bottom. So Brianna comes up with a cute little phrase. We call it the double bubble butt. Um, so Coco now has a double bubble butt. And just the position of it, it's kind mm. of in an odd place where it's pressing on her hip. It's pressing on her bottom there, so that might start to affect the way she yeah. can go to the toilet. That's what mum was saying this morning, so yes. they're really quite worried about it. Anxiously waiting at home is Coco's worried mum, Duo Lee. We've had Coco for 12 years. We've had her since she was eight weeks old. She's a big part of our family and we really hope we can remove this lump and she gets back to her old self. You can see how big it is because her actual tail just bent to one side so it's asymmetrical now and then Aww. that lump is huge. I know, I know. Come on. Come on, beautiful. Let's get that double butt off. Getting sleepy. So we give Coco the general anaesthetic through her vein. He was so good. She goes to sleep and then we have to lift her onto the table to connect her to the anaesthetic gas. Both me and Bree found our muscle power. Yes, <laughs> that butt weighs like three kilos. So we've got Coco under general anaesthetic, so she's on the oxygen and the gas. Suddenly, Coco's in trouble. She stopped breathing. That's her, it's every 20 seconds. Okay, good. An anxious few minutes later, Coco's out of danger. Look like that. But now Audrey has to try to safely remove the massive lump on the elderly dog's bottom. So the tricky points with this kind of surgery is you don't want to remove too much muscle around her bottom because that's responsible for contracting when she's going to the toilet. We're always worried that it could be something nasty. Um, so more than just the lipoma, it could be a nasty type of tumour that could potentially spread. So getting it off and finding out exactly what it is is very important. Mm, more blood. An hour into surgery, Audrey is finding the lump removal tougher than first thought. It just keeps on going and going. I see things that make me nervous. So right now I'm just peeling it off a vessel here. But it does at this point just look like all fat, which is great. The lump will be sent off for analysis to make sure it's nothing nasty. So I'm pretty happy with how it's gone. Just a small amount I had to leave in there that was attached to some big vessels. But other than that, that's all come away really nicely. And we'll just close up and pop a drain in. So it's been a pretty big day and quite an intense surgery. We do do lump removals quite a lot, but this is no ordinary lump removal just because of its size. I think it weighed in at 650 grams. Now the drapes are off, you can actually see she looks like she's got a normal bottom. And I think that she'll be quite pleased that that's out and she's got her normal movement back again. We can tell mummy the good news. No coma. This is the best part, the recovery snuggles. I love them. Yes. It makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> After the marathon surgery, Coco will have a big sleep before going home. Hey. You gonna come over here? It's been a month since Coco underwent marathon surgery to remove a massive lump, and Audrey's keen to see how she's doing. So all her hair started to grow back, which is great. And I can see that that excess skin, because obviously it was all stretched from the size of that lump, that's all contracted in, uh, and that's made the healing look a lot better and even her muscle starting to grow back on this side because all that muscle was pushed aside from that, that huge mass. So I'm very happy. And she's obviously going to the toilet a lot better now? Yep. Great. 
So every time we remove a lump, especially a fast growing lump, we're always worried that it's nasty, whether it's spread internally and it's going to affect her quality of life. So that lump we sent off to the lab and the results came back. Okay. And good news, it's a benign tumour, so it's oh. a lipoma, which is basically a massive capsulated fat. So it's a good idea that we removed it, mm -hmm. but also really good news that it's not something nasty that will spread yes. internally. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Good, good news for you, Coco. Yay. So I'm really happy with the physical exam. I'm really happy with the surgical site. It's healed well, but I want to see her going out, running around and see how she's moving. Come here, Coco. <gasps> Whee! Good girl, walking very well. Audrey's just told me everything's fine, she's doing good. Coco's moving, running, so yeah, so hopefully we'll have Coco for another 10 years. So very, very happy with her recovery and progress. So keep me posted, we'll yep. keep checking in on her and I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll keep in touch. All right. Good news today, hey? Yeah. All, right. All right, thank you. See you Coco, see you Dior. Right, bye. bye. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. Yeah. <laughs>